pythons But just saying Hulk Hogan, baby, this is talkamania Solo dolo, they say, yo, bro, I can see the change in you I talk to myself all the time, I think it's healthy So maybe these self-talks can help get me wealthy Opinions are like podcasts, everybody's got one The sexiest person on this show, I am the hot one And no, I am not Bobby Brown, but this is a new edition I talk about everything, sports, work, and hugs and kisses But I can also get deep, tune in every week to see what I'm talking about and if you can relate to this, then help me sing it out. I just talk too much, I swear I just talk too much. I just talk too much, I swear I just talk too much. Maybe I am a podcast professional and I can rap some more, but I gotta do the episode. Alright, so yeah, I'm recording this on a Sunday, by the way. My goodness. Um... I don't really have to explain my love for her because I've been talking about this before any any of this came out. I love Britney Spears. I do. I will fight all of you who will say anything disrespectful about my baby Britney. Um, I have always loved Britney. What the fuck are my fucking notes at? I hate, I hate this. I hate it. I fucking hate it. Somebody, somebody please help me. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, but yeah, I love Britney Spears, man. Um, Britney's a part of my childhood. Britney is, I always tell you guys, Britney's the first white woman I ever fell in love with. Um, and you know, if it wasn't for Britney, and of course, in Sync and Backstreet, 98 Degrees, Mandy Moore, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, Christina Aguilera, all of them, uh, I wouldn't have a respect for the pop genre. As I do, of course, we can talk about Michael Jackson and Madonna and all them, man. But, you know, I was, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12 years old, man, when Britney and all of them were coming up. Um, and, you know, I was hitting puberty when I first saw Britney. So it was it was just, it was already a match made in heaven. Um, but I just love Britney because of who she is. And she just seems like the f- sweetest fucking person on earth. You know, honestly, man, she just seems like a really, really sweet ass person. And for these past couple of years, we've all been wondering... Uh, what the hell's wrong with you? Like, why are you always in the same place? Why is it like you just can't go nowhere or some shit? Why do your Instagram posts seem so damn weird? Like, what's what's up with you? And of course, you know, there's been jokes out about, you know, her dancing. And of course, everybody wants to talk about her fucking eyeliner and shit. Um, but now, the damn pieces of the puzzle, excuse me, have been put together. And we have a documentary out, and it's called, uh, what is it, The Framing of Britney Spears, I believe it's called. Let me look it up real quick. The Framing of Britney, is that what it's called? Yeah, Framing Britney Spears. It's on Hulu. It's an hour and 14 minutes long. And yes, I did watch it. Yeah, oh my God, I actually sat down and watched something besides the Joe Button podcast. (laughs) I'm so proud of myself. Uh, and wrestling, but yeah, man, I watched this thing, and I learned so much about Britney, uh, just about her upbringing, um, it was cool to see a lot of people that grew up with her, you know, from, like, the genesis of her career, of her, like, being in, in that mall, in her hometown, and singing, and, uh, you know, just a small crowd being there, to just a couple of weeks or months after that, everybody's going to see the girl that sings Hit Me Baby One More Time, um, you know, you you see her going on tour and, of course, becoming just the mega star, you know, with all the videos and the albums. And um, then, you know, you get intro- they introduce a story about her and Kevin Federline getting married and uh, having the kids and the custody battles and all that. And then, the, you know, then it gets deep from there, man, about, um, you know, the conservative conservatorship. I believe it's what it's called. And just basically, you know, a long story short, you can sum up what's going on with Britney Spears in one sentence and it ends everything. Her daddy ain't shit. Basically, that's what it is. Motherfucker runs her whole life and like gets all the money and um, she can't do nothing. She can't go nowhere. But she's also made the decision of like, yo, I'm not doing shit until this motherfucker's not around no more. Uh, I'm not touring anymore. Y'all ain't, I'm, I'm cool. Like, I'm not doing anything because I want to be in charge of everything that I do. And I don't want him running my damn life. Um, you know, but at the same time, even outside of that, man, you just saw real deal Britney of like crying because she she doesn't know when the paparazzi is ever going to leave her alone. Um, that shit made me tear up. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know what I'm saying? Seeing her crying in that moment or even her saying she was sad. 
Um, and seeing her crying in that moment, bro, like celebrities are real people too. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it, and it's just really sad to see them at, in those vulnerable moments of them hurting like that, just off of something that they can't control, man. Like I, I want to be a star myself, obviously, but I just couldn't imagine you don't have that piece of like, you can't go outside without paparazzi being everywhere and taking pictures of you and what are you doing and where are you going and let me take a picture of you in your car look up smile get your cat out and and take a picture with your cat and hey where's your daughter bro suck my dick get the fuck away from my car <laughs> what are you ta- what are you talking about can i get in my car nigga and, and go to the store and get some grapes you know what i'm saying like what are you, what are you, what, are you what are you doing get the fuck away from me and like I imagine that's why a lot of them just have those lashing out moments, bro. Like, I saw a video one time. Uh, it was, like, 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning, bro. And, like, it was some paparazzi outside of Kanye house. And they said, yo, what up? Uh, good morning, Kanye. He said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Not with the bullshit, bro. Like, leave these people alone. Like, they they got to create some kind of rule for this, for this shit, man, of, like, Y'all can't bother them at just any point, bro. I understand y'all got jobs to do too, but like not enough to make these people cry and shit like Britney be like Britney was doing, man. So like I I hate that, but I love the fact that this documentary is out. Um shout out to everybody that's for real deep involved in the free Britney movement with the hashtags and that that damn podcast, what is it, the Britney Instagram podcast or whatever it is, where they like piece together all the subliminal messages within her captions on instagram and shit they do a really good job with that all the countless tiktoks that we've been watching over the past couple years about britney and shit um it's cool man like it's all really been pieced together very well and i would advise any i would recommend any of you to, to you know if you're a fan of britney or just over the years you've wondered like yo why ain't britney spears just around no more like what the fuck happened to her she, Brittany didn't fall off. She was like forced to kind of fall off because her daddy is lame as fuck and runs her damn life. So, um, yeah, man, go, go check out the uh, documentary. Uh, Fra- is it Framing Britney? Yeah, Framing Britney Spears. It's on Hulu. It's an hour and 14 minutes long. Um, oh, and shit, I'm, I'm tripping. I need to do the like the updated news about Brittany. Um, and hey, man. You know, people do things, people make mistakes. I ain't never just gonna be mad at Justin Timberlake, bro. I'm not. You know, like that Justin has come out and apologized for all the shit that happened back then. Again, Britney is a sweetheart. I think we just look at that whole situation of like Britney's a sweetheart that we all love and Justin is, you know, now he's the bad guy and shit. Man, that shit happened. A very long time ago, I believe Justin has grown up a whole lot since those situations and, and those times of them being together and all that type of shit. I know Justin even came out and apologized for the whole Janet Jackson thing in the Super Bowl, which was really cool to see him do, man. But I ain't just, I ain't mad at Justin, bro. Um, but yeah, Britney Spears' father loses his bid to retain control of delegating her investments amid intensified scrutiny over the control of his daughter's estate. That's a win. I love that. I love to hear that. And, um, you know, we need to all keep an eye on this shit, bro, because just like that woman said in the in the documentary, the day I, ca- I can't wait until the day that Britney tells us her story, bro. Whenever that sh- whenever Britney gets her fine ass somewhere and just tells whatever the fuck has been going on for these past couple years, that shit is gonna- I don't know who's going to get a hold of it. I don't know if it's going to be uh michael strahan nigga on, <laughs> on channel two four five you know michael strahan work michael strahan works on all the networks he, he's he's on the damn he's on qvc he, he's on the spanish networks he's everywhere bro i don't know if it's gonna be michael strahan or netflix or hulu i don't know who's gonna get britney but wherever britney is gonna be at the whole world is literally gonna be watching and 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 uh, and and uh, her telling, watching her tell us the whole damn story of what's been going on with her, bro, and I honestly cannot wait to see it. What's good? This is Sinatra TODCS, and I appreciate you for listening to this talk quickie. Go ahead and press that red Kool-Aid looking button that you see down there that says subscribe, and please mash on that like button as hard as humanly possible. Now, thanks to the magical powers of YouTube, you are about to be transported to listen to this entire episode. Yeah.